Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know, like subscribe, and share to help support the channel. I would like to wish everyone a happy and safe Memorial Day weekend. But let us remember, most importantly, it is a time to honor those who died while fighting in the U.S. Armed Forces. It's a holiday steeped in somber American history and tradition. The day actually began as Decoration Day, following the Civil War, when mourners placed flowers on the graves of Union and Confederate soldiers. Yes, Memorial Day has also come to signify the unofficial start of summer, but let's remember the heroes who made it all possible with the ultimate sacrifice, their lives. First article of interest for today. The Minister of Finance reveals the number of aliens in the country and warns of an economic collapse with this step. The Minister of Finance, Ali Abdul Amir Alawi, revealed the number of space employees in the Iraqi state and are receiving salaries. The term aliens has spread in the past few years in Iraq, especially in the security establishments, a reference to those who donate their salaries to their officials in exchange for absenteeism from long periods of duty or fake names to receive their salaries without actually being present on the ground as a phenomenon of corruption. A law we said in a televised statement that 50 to 100,000 space workers receive government salaries, and a large proportion of government jobs are unproductive and a country overgrown with higher degrees, many of which are useless. And that a lot of government resources went out and there are looted amounts in Lebanon, Oman, Dubai, and others, which are money looted with millions of dollars of Iraqi people's money, and we will look at these financial assets and recover them certainly not easy for political and legal obstacles. A law we stressed that the country has become overstaffed with employees and there are no resources for appointment or contracting. Noting that the reduction of higher salaries will be 50%, while saving will decrease with lower and lower job grades. The finance minister explained that to fully secure salaries, we need a barrel price of $55, and the oil market prices cannot be expected in all indications that oil prices do not exceed $40 minus $45 as the best case, and this after about two years. We are now living in a collapse in the demand for oil, but it has begun to increase and grow recently, and we need the solidarity of the people and the financial condition in the government of Hyder al Abadi is much better than this government. He pointed out that it is possible to obtain a loan from the International Monetary Fund within two months at about $2 billion quickly, while the World Bank is not funded as operating loans but for investment projects and this is what we will work on and accelerate to obtain loans. A law we revealed, we started contacting neighboring countries to stimulate them and contribute to revitalizing the Iraqi economy through investment and the private sector. The Minister of Finance stressed the necessity of forming a committee or a central contract committee to prevent corruption, withdraw these powers granted to governors and governorate councils previously, and return them to ministries or the prime minister and achieve this quickly. A law we warned of the danger of printing currency on the Iraqi economy. In between printing money in Iraq without controls, there may be a collapse of the currency against the dollar, as happened in Lebanon and there will be great pressure on the central bank in the coming period with the continuation of the financial crisis, but we did not think about printing the currency, which is a wrong choice. He added that the security ministries and electricity consumes a large percentage of the financial budget, noting that 95% of the people do not pay electricity bills and citizens consider energy as a gift to him. Next article of interest. Finance. Wrong Budgeting Method New numbers added every year The Ministry of Finance confirmed, on Saturday, that the budget method is wrong and lacks the economic and realistic view and vision, which is a collection of numbers and every year added new numbers. Finance Minister Abdul Amir Alawi said, the way to draw the budget is wrong and lacks the economic and realistic view and vision, which is about adding numbers and every year new numbers are added to it. Noting that, the budget problem is great because of salaries, allocations and state expenditures related to legal benefits, where laws are enacted without taking its financial impact, 
such as increasing salaries, increasing the social network, increasing benefits, or retirement and all these things are reflected in the budget. He added, we should not count on high oil prices and depend on resources and self-possibilities as it is a major axis of the economy. He pointed out that the government is now running the budget on the basis of the 2019 budget and divided into 12 months. The prices. And a law we said that Iraq does not have safety valves such as those in the Gulf, which drives the government to deal with international institutions such as the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank, but the IMF has a kind of immediate support based on technical measures, which may require months, while the financial problem we have requires processing is very fast. Next article of interest. Iraq is discussing four files with the World Bank. On Saturday, the Ministry of Planning revealed the most prominent files discussed with a representative of the World Bank. Planning Minister Gayled Battle said, according to the official news agency, the meeting with the representative of the World Bank did not address the new borrowing, but rather was devoted to discussing the activation of development projects funded by the World Bank before the current financial and health crisis. Noting that, the meeting also witnessed a discussion of available funds by the World Bank, Iraq. Battle added that, he also discussed with the representative of the World Bank some of the current problems between the bank and some sectoral ministries benefiting from the projects and how to solve them in light of the lack of approval of the budget law, which represents the legal cover for these projects. Next article of interest. Governmental banks are closed during the holidays and salaries are paid after the holiday. An official source at Barafa Dane Bank said on Friday that the bank, along with other government banks, including Al Rashid Bank, will resume its operations after the Eid al-Fitr holiday. The source said, told Twilight News, he said that there is no appeal or direct attendance at the Rafa Dane Bank or other government banks, including good during the official holiday bank, noting that, always disabled during the days of Eid. The source pointed out that the banks will resume their work hours and pay the salaries of state employees after the Eid holiday, explaining that employees with electronic payment cards can receive their salaries from the network of bank branches scattered in Baghdad and the provinces after the Eid holiday. The Iraqi government has set the days for the Eid al-Fitr holiday, from next Sunday to Thursday, with a total curfew imposed. Next article of interest. The dialogue between Baghdad and Washington, a parliamentary condition that precedes negotiations and talks about exceptions that allow American soldiers to remain. The timing of the launching of dialogues is the first of its kind, approaching between Iraq and the United States, since the withdrawal of the latter from Iraq in 2011, which is scheduled to take place in the middle of next month, and with what she described as very important. With regard to its role in the military and security, talks are underway on a condition for negotiation between the two countries. On January 5, the Iraqi Council of Representatives approved a decision to remove foreign forces from Iraq against the backdrop of an American plane carrying out a strike that killed the deputy head of the popular mobilization organization, Abu Mahdi al muhandis and the commander of the Iranian Quds Force. Qasem Soleimani. This decision imposes itself in any prospective dialogue, according to Iraqi lawmakers, while others indicate that the decision caused the suspension of the work of foreign forces and U.S. military flights in Iraq, which allowed ISIS to move freely again and carry out several attacks in the month of April and May this year, which necessitates placing this danger and take into account the upcoming negotiations. After the formation of the government of Prime Minister Mustafa Kazemi, the International Coalition aircraft flew back to carry out strikes against ISIS, and some of them were carried out in Kirkuk during support operations for the anti-terrorist apparatus. Member of Parliamentary Security, Iraq will prioritize the removal of American forces from the upcoming negotiations, and there is a condition permitting exceptions. Member of the Parliamentary Security and Defense Committee, Kato al Rakabi, said in an interview with Baghdad Today that the strategic dialogue is the completion of the Strategic Framework Agreement, which was held in 2009, 
in the sense of agreeing to implement the provisions that were not applied and left loose. He added, the Iraqi delegation will put in its priorities the removal of U.S. forces from Iraq, in accordance with the decision of the House of Representatives in January 2020, stressing that this is a condition for negotiating with Washington. He stressed, what we do not accept as deputies is the continued American presence, and we will focus on the issue of removing all forces with some exceptions in terms of advisors and trainers only to provide military and intelligence advice. It is expected that next month, dialogues will be the first of their kind between Iraq and the United States of America, since the latter withdrew from Iraq permanently in 2011, according to what senior Iraqi officials announced recently. Parliament describes the upcoming dialogue important and confirms the absence of an invitation to participate. On Saturday, 23 May 2020, a member of the Parliamentary Security and Defense Committee, Abbas Roat, described the strategic dialogue between Baghdad and Washington, scheduled for mid-next month, as very important. In an interview with Baghdad Today, Zrout said, the Security and Defense Committee in the Iraqi Parliament, until now, has not been informed or received any notice of any role in this dialogue, noting that it is a dialogue with the government, especially between the commander-in-chief of the armed forces, Iraqi, top military leaders and the American side. And between, the strategic dialogue between Washington and Baghdad is very important for Iraq, and it has very great benefit, especially with regard to the aspect of armament, training and development. The idea of a strategic dialogue between Baghdad and Washington dates back to the period before the outbreak of popular protests in Iraq in October 2019. And Iraqi officials confirmed, earlier, that these dialogues, which they described as comprehensive, came with an American offer, which they considered a project to set a roadmap for the relationship between the two countries, in the light of which a stable policy is reached and governed by several agreements including the issue of the American military presence, the support provided to Iraq from a security and economic perspective, and guarantees of a democratic transition of power in Iraq, are also likely to place Iran's file at the top of what will be discussed. Like subscribe and share to help support the channel. Don't forget to save the link to my channel on the library platform and check out the Denarian blog. Facebook and Twitter as I post important daily updates on these platforms throughout the day as well. The links to these and other invaluable sites are in the description box below. Knowledge is power. Using that knowledge is powerful. Over and out for now, the Denarian.